Java is a classic programming language that is still used on millions of devices today. Originally developed by Sun Microsystems, it was taken over in the 2000s by Oracle. Some important dates include the 90s, where it was the dominant language of the internet. It became open source, became the premier language for developing Android, it still continues today to be great for finding jobs. And so if you're in a corporate environment, you're likely going to find Java in your languages. C is really the grandfather of many languages today with C++ being a child. The grandchildren and cousins are Java, C Sharp, Swift, JavaScript, and other languages. Java solved a problem that was occurring when there are different types of hardware inside computers. For example, the instruction sets for Intel are quite different than those for other processors such as ARM or Motorola. And so Sun Microsystems invented Java to solve a problem. You could write your code one time, compile it into bytecode, which are assembly language-like instructions, and then for each machine there would be an interpreter called a JVM, or a Java Virtual Machine, which would run the code almost in native compiled speed. And as a result, all of us users get to see these mysterious Java update messages, which nobody really understands what they are, but they're vital for making Java applications work on your operating system. Java is not the only language that can compile to a JVM. There's others such as Kotlin and Groovy and many more. With Java, you can build many types of applications from web servers to mobile apps to desktops and application servers and games. In the 90s, Java was very innovative in creating interactive content that could run on any web browser. It was called the applet. And if you didn't mind the ugly appearance of these apps, you could do interactive and actual apps without installing them on your desktop. Later technologies such as Flash and Silverlight came and went, and now we have much more sophisticated JavaScript capabilities that are able to make interaction in your web browser. The next phase of applet seems to be coming back with the idea of WebAssembly, where you can take Java, C Sharp, or other languages and run them in your browser with an interpreter. If for some reason you need to create a desktop application, you can use JavaFX, which replaced Swing some years ago. Android development gave Java another life. If you're building a website, you're probably going to be using Java with the Spring Boot framework, where you can create applications and servers that will generate HTML. Java is a strongly typed language, so every time you declare a variable, you first of all put the type of the variable before it, such as integer, string, long, or double. Java is object-oriented, so you're going to be creating classes, and you'll define properties and getters and setters throughout your code. Many Java developers have used the Eclipse IDE to write their code and build applications. Another choice for Java development is usually IntelliJ. The most popular programming IDE today is Visual Studio Code, which among many other languages includes the ability to run Java. One feature of Java programming is the large amount of code that appears. And so every time you want to declare a getter or setter, you have to create actual functions. Creating an instance in Java is as simple as creating something with the new keyword. Expect to see all the classic operations of object-oriented programming, including inheritance. Java has the ability of running streams, which allows you to filter lists using functional programming and Lambda expressions. Java can do asynchronous programming with threads, which allows you to do fetches and heavy computing without slowing down your main program. Java was one of the early programs that would allow you to connect to other systems and share data. If you'd like to learn how to develop applications using Java, whether they're mobile or web apps, check out my website at studycoding.org, where you can see in-depth tutorials for Java and other languages. We'll see you there.